Now joining us from the G and Ursula show, which you can hear from nine to noon right here on Cairo Radio. Ursula Royteen. Hi, Ursula. Yeah, Long time. No talk on the air. It's been a while. Great to see you. Uh, great my to friend. see you too. Awesome. Thanks well, for being here. Early for you. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> I'm up at 3 30 a.m. <laughs> daily usually. It depends on what show I'm working on on any oh, given that's day. True. But that's true. Ursula, I saw this article recently from the Washington Post titled, As the Internet Gets Scarier, More Parents Keep Their Kids' Photos offline so apparently sharenting is out privacy is in i've noticed a bit of a long overdue awakening when it comes to how we wield these smartphones that are ubiquitous in this day and age there's an abundance now of research and data available about what these glowing rectangles are doing to us on an individual level and even at a societal level so do you think this sort of raised awareness has uh, been a good thing and do you celebrate this trend where People are keeping more personal photos, especially of their kids, offline and maybe just more for, you know, close friends and interpersonal relationships and immediate family members via text. Um, when I read articles like this, I feel very guilty about my own parenting <laughs> and what I have done on social media with my children. OK, <laughs> because I and, and, and uh, Chris is nodding his head. I have been very open with sharing my family on social media, perhaps too open, probably very much like what I do on the show, which is to, to share my life. Sure. And I respect people who decide that they're going to keep their kids offline or uh, are going to do everything they can to protect their kids' privacy. I'm not going to say that I did that. I understand. Now, when I started Facebook, and Facebook is, the, is my go-to, you know, so my kids didn't mind that I shared on Facebook because they never looked at it. They're like, that's for old people in their mind. <laughs> <laughs> but when they got old enough to say, eh, mom, I knew the, the pictures that they would be okay with. And mm -hmm. if I had any question, I would ask them. And on occasion, my, uh, my younger son, who's a, a more private would say, could you remove that? I, I mean, that, that one's embarrassing. I, I'd rather yeah. not have that. Um, but I know now that, that, there are things that creeps are going to do with your kids' pictures if they want, and and it's hard to um, protect from everything that is out there right. on the Internet. So I appreciate that people do that, but that's not how I did it. Well, and I don't think anyone can fault you or others or even me for an abundance of posting in the early days of social media, for example, because we didn't know. I, I think it's been true throughout human history when there's a technological advancement we seem to just rush into it headlong and just look at the positive sides to it and think hey, we'll only use this for good and only good things can come of this but now you know i think steve jobs introduced the iphone in like 2007 or 2009 or something like that twitter came along about the same time so we have about 15 years now we can look back and, and study. So none of us can be blamed for a certain level of naivete. And, and furthermore, the landscape has changed vastly in those 15 years. I mean, the advancement of AI. Yeah. Now, if you have a picture of your kid online, someone could, in Photoshop could, you know, chop the head off and put it on a different body. I mean, and someone, the Washington State Lottery just did that to a woman. That's right. <laughs> just right, last right. week, her face yes. was put on a topless picture of an AI That's right. piece of art and you know if they can do it with adults then certainly it can happen with kids well and so, so one thing we're telling our 13 year old is you know when you're out with friends we know all of them have smartphones but yeah. if you're gonna get your picture taken in any situation just know the internet is forever and they can use that picture for whatever purposes they see fit once it's out there on the world wide web we're not trying to like instill this deep fear in them but we just want to raise the consciousness level of yeah what's going and I on. think that that is really good and that is really healthy um, I also know that for my family, and I have family all over the world, uh, you know, the, some of the social media posts were a way to keep everybody. And, 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 you know, it's the positive parts that, unfortunately, because there are so many uh, gross people who want to do terrible things to these pictures, that you have to be much more aware. And I think that's healthy. I, I love that. Uh, just real quick, I had a, a co-worker. I took some pictures at a party of mine. Uh, and um, the coworker said, hey, could you take off the pictures of my kids? Mm. And I liked nice. that. It was like, you know what? Yeah. Great. Right. No problem.
Ursula Royteen, thanks so much for joining Seattle's Morning News. Listen to the G and Ursula show from 9 to noon right here on Cairo Radio. It is 7-